Evening. Oh, got some sapper mines. We shall take them. Because one thing we should always remember there's always more. There's always more. And apparently, these are pretty efficient at taking those little rolly bastards out. So, you know, the more you know. I should really look up what that SOS is saying. This doesn't look good. Oh, yay, we got steel heads. We got steely heads. We don't like steely heads. Because they make our lives very difficult with their augers. But we can thin the herd as much as we can. Now, augers are obviously better at close range. Ooh, there you are. Missed him. Missed that nugget. I think we got him. Whew. Uh. Oh, God. What? Okay. Oh, Jesus. Yep. Do not want that. Ooh. Oh, come on. Don't be greedy now. There are only so many of these to go around. Oh, buddy. Boop. Nope. Come on. Boop. Get out of here. Ah, <sighs> right. Well, that was a mini riot, wasn't it? Look at this. This is cool. Ooh, dear. This screams desperation. The entire place is completely buried in snow. Come on. Come on. There we go. Yeah, so it looks like they've kind of made this little pillbox out of literal scrap. They're just at the point now where they're trying to do anything just to give themselves a bit of cover. Just to hold the line back, but, you know... There's nothing they can do against the Spire attack, as we've seen. Those things are literally game over, man. Game over. Now, look at this snow. Like, literally. This terraforming is having a really bad effect. Like, you've got to bury yourself or burrow into buildings now yeah we need to stop this it's getting bad and there ain't no signs of it getting any better that's for sure so the next piece of intel is on this bed. Twenty ninth of September. Central command is sealed from top to bottom. We might suffocate, but we won't choke on the crawlers. Seventh of October. Burrow is tunneled in with packs of slip skulls. The Chimera are getting creative, but we're on round the clock patrols now. 14th of October. They burrowed in again. This time it wasn't the Chimera in the tunnels. It was the River Thames. Almost 14,000 soldiers drowned inside the base. Less than 200 survived. It won't be long now. That is a really chilling memo. That is really cool. 
Oof. So these Chimera, you know, they're not stupid. Literally flooding the base because they literally, uh, you know, barricaded themselves in so tight when the waters came in. I guess they really didn't have a chance, huh? Evening! No room at the inn. Come on, reload. Oh, God. Woo! Remember when I said I was saving the auger? Jeez, I think we're good. I think we're good. <laughs> the sapper is a questionable weapon, but when it's useful, I guess it's useful. Whoa, okay. When it's useful, it's useful. I think it's fair to say. Physics, motherfucker. Now, I'm not sure. No. Okay, cool. So... Our own sapper mines don't hurt us. Which is good. See a sneaky little sausage hiding around the corner? Where the hell does he think he is? All right, we're good. For now. But of course, never lasts long, does it? Ooh. Trying to see where his head is. There it is. Move, move, move. Oh, hello. That guy has to go. Ooh. And you too. Oh, the far eye. Oh, the far eye. The far eye is the MVP. We really need health. That's fine. Have plenty of health. Tucked away. Oof. Oh, just took the just the, the top of the skull. Heavy equipment, eh? Wow, that sounds like something that we really want. Definitely up for some heavy equipment. Yeah, I thought there was some more health back here. Well, you know, 75%, it's not bad. We'll take it. We shall take it. Oh, wait, there might have been more in here. No, but there is Ross ammo. No. Whoop. Okay, that will have to do for now. Oh, there we go. Ask and you shall receive, my friends. So, what have we got going on up here? Not much. It's quiet. I don't like it. Way too quiet. Definitely too quiet. Now, you can hold a lot of ammo for the Hailstorm. Ooh. I'm outside. Where are you? Right. We see you now. Be advised, Sergeant. We're going in heavy and a little low. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, it's 
to waste something, hey. Don't worry about it, Nathan. We're on it. We're on it. Ice and iron. Good thing the right man for the job is here. So, this guy, this guy is a pain in the penis. Um, he will mince you in seconds. Remember the last time we fought one of these guys? We had like an entire platoon of men with us for the use of cannon fodder and whatnot. But there is a sly little trick that I discovered whilst fighting him earlier. If you ignore him, he buggers off. When he buggers off, he gives you a nice little look at his ass, and you can destroy him in two shots. <laughs> My God, guys, you don't know, you don't want to know how many times and how long I spent fighting this guy before I realized he, if you walk away, he'll walk away. I thought he was just on your ass completely. Couple of times I did defeat him, but wait, there's more. Yeah, you didn't think it was gonna be that easy, did you? Come on, guys, come on. Right, well, yeah, the amount of times I spent ages trying to destroy that walker, only to be killed by this jackass. Yeah, once or twice. <laughs> Let's just say once or twice. Luckily, oh, I say luckily when we're out here, there's plenty of cover, but you know, maybe not as much cover as I'd like. Oof. Get wrecked. All right, let's go grab as many goodies as we can. This place is loaded with goodies. Oh, is that for me? Thank you very much. Just what I always wanted. Tin spiders. Well, let's go. Let's go find us some tin spiders. So here we are, back in the saber tooth, the light tank. Now, look at this little thing coming. Widowmaker. Look at what it's firing. It's firing those mines. That uh our other weapon users. Which is kind of interesting. It's literally firing the same mines that the sapper fires. Which is curious. Because if we delve into the documents here. The sapper mine launcher is believed by British intelligence to be a product of secret US weapons programs. So... And have you noticed how these secret um, American weapons look very Chimerian? Yeah, I think there's something the Tommies aren't telling us. I really do. Now, luckily, this tank opens these guys up as if they're a tin of beans. But we don't really have too much challenge here. Now, what's got me curious is this is apparently a light tank. I want to see what the heavy tank's like. And if this is how devastating a light tank is against the Chimeran forces, how, how good would the heavy tank be? Because this is just like literally one light tank cutting its way through an entire Chimeran invasion force. Now, I'm not even mad. I'm not complaining. This is awesome. Feels very, very powerful. And it is nice to have a couple of sections that break it up where you can lay the smack down on these bastards. Because God knows they've been doing it to us. 
Now what you'd want really is to make these tanks completely sealed so the bugs can't get in. And then you'd have something. I do notice this a lot when you're in the tank section. You get lots of enemies that just stand there and they don't do anything. I'm not sure what that's about. I think maybe these areas are just too much for the game engine. They're too big, they're too open. But also, you'll notice when I shot those guys, they were all just standing there not doing anything as well. Well, let's keep doing what armor does best. Destroying armor. Now, I can't remember if we get tanks and stuff in the second game. Uh, vehicles of any sort, actually. I hope we do. It'd be nice to see the old saber tooth come back round for another go. See, if we had a reboot of this game, we could, like, blast all this stuff down. It'd be wicked. Like, proper... Oh, look. See what I mean? There's a guy on a the gun there. He's just... He's not doing anything. He's just standing there. Okay, let's light these guys up. I mean, these are supposed to be, like, anti-air vehicles primarily. But they're pretty gnarly. So, we are going to get rid of them. Not bad, man. Not bad. Let's keep rolling. Oh, hello. Didn't even see you up there. You're done. I'd love to be able to take this bridge out. And that 20mm Gatling gun on the side is quite fun to use. It's very slow, it's a bit weird, but, you know, it does do the damage. Just overheats a little bit too quick in my opinion. I don't think it should overheat at all, actually. But. Now, one thing I would say, these Argos that they're firing at us, you would have thought that these, these would be lethal to a tank. Obviously, we have plot armor. Because, come on, <laughs> you wouldn't have a chance otherwise. But, uh, yeah, you'd imagine that the Argus would just be able to fire straight through. Which would be bad. And you can see over here, we've got all these soldiers off. They're just looking at us. They're not actually doing anything. But if we blast them, there we go. See, because we've shot them, they're now activated. And up here, there's all these guys. They're, act they're not activated. Kind of a little odd. But then this game did have a rush development, so, you know. How are we doing? We're clear. I do like to sweep the environments just because sometimes... Ah, look, see? There's another guy in there. Don't know if we can actually get him. Come on. My, yeah, I think that's a corpse, actually. Kind of hard to tell. Oh, hello. You're in a bad way, chap. I think there's some more up here, too. Looks like we've got another Goliath or Titan down here. Yeah, got another Titan. Well, luckily... These titans are nothing to a saber tooth. As you can see. <laughs> I almost feel bad for these guys. Except they're soulless biological creations. Oh. That's right. Keep coming. Lambs to the slaughter. Yeah, my only criticism for this part is it's not long enough. <laughs> I really enjoyed that tank. It was fun. Wish it was longer. Yeah, the damage we just did in that tank was pretty crazy. 
Okay. What do we got in here? Now, the last bit of intel for this level was... Uh, I think it was here. Pretty sure it's here. It's tucked away. It's on this lower floor somewhere anyway, and it's tucked behind a bar. So. We have Goliath. Finally, I saw my first Goliath. Makes a stalker look like a field mouse. The massive guns and armor look like something off a science fiction mag. Without tanks or other heavy weapons, open attack is suicide. Since each Goliath carries multiple spires, we had to use hit and run tactics to beat it. Attacked with a small squad and lured uh, attacked with a small squad and lured it away from the main force. We weren't a big enough target. Uh, for it to launch spires, but we kept swooping in and attacking so it couldn't ignore us. It took nearly two hours, but we finally brought it down. Yeah, these things are nuts. Absolutely nuts. Um, and the fact that they have like spire launchers on the back, they're terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. But whilst we're here, we've also got a couple of new. Um... We did read about the hard fangs. Hard fangs similar to hybrids, but tougher and crawler than. Yeah, so they're the ones with the flame for us. So, rollers. Rollers are adult leapers, which have developed a faster trundling, I love that word, trundling, locomotion, as they near the end of their life cycle. Internal decom uh, decomposition results in venting of a corrosive spray. Rollers use this as an opening to attack, blinding their prey before closing to strike with claws and teeth. When attacking in swarms, rollers have been known to wipe out sizable troop deployments in a matter of seconds. Yeah, yeah, these things, these things are mad. If you, I mean, leapers are pretty gnarly, but you know, if you let these things get on top of you as well, it's it's not pretty. And I like it. So these are like the final stage of the life cycle. So they've gone from the little crawlers to the leapers to the rollers. Um. And they're now at the, the point where they're actually breaking down the law behind the Chimera and the actual enemies themselves. It's really, really good. There's too much law and too much world building in this series to throw it away and do nothing with. There's too much. Either make another game or reboot it. Widowmaker. The appearance of a Widowmaker on the battlefield requires immediate engagement by all soldiers. Widowmakers attack with their barbed four talons by spewing explosive gobules. In addition to causing tremendous casualties, Widowmakers have a rallying effect on other Chimeran strains. They have been known to irreversibly turn the tide of battle. Attacks with high explosives or vehicle mounted weapons should focus on the creature's face or body. Well, you know, actually, this probably could make a really cool um, strategy game. A little bit like XCOM. You know, just on a much larger scale, researching new technology, trying to hold back the Chimera Force. That would be fun. Alright, let's keep going. Hey guys! Whoop. Oh, ho, 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 ho. get wrecked! Oh God, flame those guys! Those air fuel grenades, man! Oof, spicy! Hello! Yeah, you're done. Oh, I like the reload on this thing as well. But this, these are definitely based off Chimera technology, 100%. Ooh. Whoop. Oh, those guys. Those guys. They're a little bit naughty, those ones. A little bit spicy, a bit more of an arsehole to those. Oh, hello. Oh, yes. You know what? 
grab the Ross. Oof. Ooh. Eat it. Ah, oh, they... I just wish... I wish so bad they made the so this shotgun just sound better and feel better. Like, it is effective. It just sounds so rubbish. Shame. And that is all, folks. Well, I enjoyed that. I hope you guys did. Um, fantastic to be back behind the microphone. It's been, been about 10 days, maybe a little bit more. Um, really good. Really enjoyed playing that set today, this level. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Anyway, guys, I'll meet you in the next one.